Beauty. Beauty. Dead on, man. That's dead on. Dead center. Yep. Dead on. Dead center. Beauty. I like that. Now split that arrow. All right. Now split that arrow. Yeah, I'm just going to go. Ha ha ha. That's a $50 center there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it shows some talent, yo. Yeah. Just about, yo. Yeah, it's pretty tight, man. Well, that's, that's a tight enough group for where I want to be right behind the shoulder on an animal anyways, right? Yeah. Anyone? Anyone? get off work early because it's about to start raining we got just enough time to go in and bait because i'm pretty sure the bears are cleaning out my bait every other day so right now it's a crucial time to keep it baited whether i'm gonna hunt tomorrow or saturday saturday's supposed to be some pretty awesome weather it could be a perfect perfect wind perfect circumstance to send an arrow through a bear which would be nice because there seems to be a couple of juveniles that come in all hours of the day and then there's a couple of big ones that come right before last light so hoping that the competition factor becomes a big factor which is going to make the bigger ones come in a little bit earlier which would be damn nice let me tell you <laughs> it's funny how the one barrel halfway to the other tree stand the bears broke broke the strap so today i brought a chain and <laughs> secured correctly awesome they got that one twisted up how empty is that has it got some food in it still yeah it feels like it's got some up the top one top one seems the closest the easiest lightest <laughs> Of course, add some syrup to the popcorn. Where's our stir stick? There it is. At least now they won't be able to knock it over. That's the whole point. Now that we put the chain on it, they won't be able to knock it over. They'll have to actually sit right here and feed themselves by hand, which should enable me to get a shot. That is the idea. Just tomorrow night with the wind direction, I'll be sitting in that stand. <laughs> 